If they could come up a little bit, that would be great. Good, just keep coming like that. Thank you. Roger Miller, passionate, committed, intense. Okay, we want to go a little down. Roger Miller, squeezing all the color and action he can from a Maryland sky. Roger Miller, feet on the ground and catching all the purples and oranges of a Maryland sunset. This is the neighborhood I live in, Union Square. This is just a great shot. The sun is just perfect. I'm going to get a couple shots. I am here to promote the state. I'm here to promote the city of Baltimore. I don't need to show all the negative. We got the newspapers to do that. And that's all valid. My thing is, let's find the beauty. That beauty can be found in the 19 books he has published a virtual one-man library, a photographic odyssey of brilliant color, the bricks and mortar of the cities, glistening with the pride of their creators and owners, the quieter glow of Maryland's spectacular natural wonders, the thrill of our state's playgrounds, Maryland as viewed, recorded, published, and successfully sold to all of those who love beauty. I'm really, I think, a romantic. I like to do the scenics. I like to do the mountains, the streams. Sometimes it's magic. You're driving down a road, boom, there's the sun going down, boom, there is this little creek, and boom, you end up with this thing like on Kent Island. It's just absolute magic. I love the Eastern Shore. I love to photograph water. I love reflection. I love boats. What an incredible day. I went through Boston University to be a painter, because I initially wanted to paint. And then at Boston, became fascinated with photography. I literally kicked my roommate out, set up a dark room, and started doing photography. And then I finished off at the Maryland Institute. There's this great debate, which is more valid? I, I don't know, but for me, there is this crossover. I don't see any difference between a painting and a photograph. Much like a painter, Roger Miller makes brightly illuminated images. So carefully arranged are his images, it seems as though they were made in a studio rather than outdoors. The tones, I go light, I go heavy, I try and put more color in, I try to pull color out and make them light and airy. When Miller began his photographic career in the 1970s, color was just beginning to come into its own. In his photographs, the colors are crisp. Everything is shiny and clean, and the weather is sunny. So romantic is he about his subjects that oversaturation of the colors in his image is simply a means of expressing his feelings. I'm addicted to sunsets, sunrises. Quite honestly, we have some of the best places in the world for sunsets because we have this haze. Sun goes down, but you never really can tell. Winona Point down in Deal Island is some of my favorite places for sunsets. And it's quiet. It's fishermen. It's the way it was. While Miller is romantic at heart, his emotional view of the world doesn't include any nostalgic notions of holding on to the old way of doing things. Digital photography, digital imaging, has changed the very structure and fabric of photography. This is the new film, glossy film, and the quality on this is just absolutely astounding, what you can end up getting from a computer-generated image from a 35 slide. I'm just amazed. Is this art? Is this not art? Who's to judge? I say, it's a great image. While the computer may sometimes play a role in turning a slide into a work of art, a Miller photograph begins as an image captured through the lens of his 35-millimeter film, not digital camera. 
The love of my life is this little baby. 35. In fact, I've got a closet full. I can't really get rid of them, even when they stop working. The fact that Miller's 35s rarely do stop working, considering the rigors of their owner's travels, makes them so endearing. To be a camera owned by Roger Miller means jutting out from the open end of an airplane, trudging through rivers and streams, and balancing over cliffs. Whatever it takes to capture Maryland in vivid, pulsating color. Like Roger says himself, there's so much about the state that he didn't know until he did a book on it. And it, it's true. There's so much to see and do in the state of Maryland. And unless you get out there and look, you'll never see it. Without question, he's one of the most successful self-published photographers in the business. Most of his books have been resounding successes. His Baltimore book is in its fourth edition. Miller's next book, once again, features Maryland's capital, Annapolis. It's one of several projects underway at once, and it's all accomplished by keeping to an intense schedule that can top 70 hours a week. But the payoff isn't making a comfortable living. Instead, it's something very simple. I just hope people see my pictures and go, oh, oh <laughs> I'm fine with one word. Oh, oh my goodness. Images of Maryland 1900 to 2000 was made possible on MPT in part by the Maryland Commission for Celebration 2000, creating a legacy for the future with activities and events in the arts, education, environmental stewardship, historic preservation, and human services. More information is available on the Maryland 2000 website. And by Ice Cold Productions Incorporated, an affiliate of Morgan Creek Productions, James G. Robinson, Chairman and CEO.